Not complaining. Games. No, neither am I. Neither am I. We've had some fantastic games. Uh, a lot, of course, going the distance. I'm sure both fans of FaZe and the United would prefer it not to for their own hearts. But we shall see. Things kick off. London Docks game one, followed by a couple of forests of St. Marina, London Docks to close things out. Should it go the distance, this a loser's bracket matchup. You lose, you're out here of stage one playoffs. You win, you progress, and live to fight another day. Of course, Championship Sunday will be the day. Okay, Zuma. Can you get 100 interactions this time on Doc's hard point? <laughs> Are you going to need to? That's the question. I mean, that, that's the big thing, right? Fundamentally, you shouldn't need to. He was furious. He was furious. We spoke to him after the game yesterday. He was like, how am I needing to get 100 interactions to win a game? That's just not how it should be. And, you know, for FaZe, yes, you know, London Docks was a great map for, for Zuma, but there's questions about how they fundamentally played it. And interestingly enough, of course, you can see the class he's running. Yeah, SDG, a little bit different here. Priester. Rocking that PPSH. I'm sure Zuma will change as we change hills here. But it's really interesting just to see break-offs and uh, how teams do adapt and how they play. Well, for us, these silly Pristini getting a kill would help. Uh, but for now, we're going to see FaZe Clan reap the rewards of another 10 points here. Unless Zuma will be challenged. And there's Silly's first kill. And it's worth mentioning, this is what worries me. The fundamentals on this map that United's earlier on look great at. Right? They were making the correct decisions almost every single time. The games, of course, are probably closer than they would have liked, of course. But still... You put that against what we saw with FaZe yesterday, it just wasn't the best. But of course today, a new day, and as it stands, FaZe fun with the lead. But as we rotate over towards Main Street, it's United with the setup they desire. However, FaZe just walk straight through the front door and they say thanks, we'll take control of the hill now. Well, we'll see if they can capitalize on that. Attach and replays. Great starts to the game here as we do see Attach. He was 5-0. and oh. Yes, he jumped out, challenged until he didn't get the streaks, but so back and forth already here. But you look at the scoreboard, and it's most definitely favoring FaZe for now. They've actually done a really good job, and Attach is part of that job of just holding off a United out of any points. 20 seconds left, and rightfully so. If Attach win this 1v1, this would be absolutely huge. I mean, Prestini recognizes Attach this week, wants to try and push it, but finally the okay. fight comes to a conclusion. Still 10 seconds left there, so that scrap goes over to United. Replay is playing it smart. I'm wondering, does he recognize he got a hit marker through the wall there on Clay? Well, either way, he's not going to bother with it. Turns to his right, finds Silly. Hilt rotates, and it was United that they were there for a while. They had their setup, but instantly broken once again. FaZe strolls straight through. And let's just remind ourselves, FaZe beat TK by five points. They then lose to TK by seven. They then lose to an Envy by one. These are all super, super close <laughs> half points. We're talking 250 to 249s and 42s. It's ridiculous. What I would like to see is FaZe come out and convincingly win the half point. Well, you may get that here because Frieza, a kill away from those streaks could be massive and bear in mind they're about to reach 100 points here on Docs. The assist actually comes through, so that's the fighter pilot. Just 10 more points is all he needs now for the glide bump. I'd like to see Priester bait out his team and I think that's what he's doing here. There's still 15 seconds. That's the crazy thing, Ben. They, uh, they can find themselves over 100 points in the lead and we're gonna see some streaks called in. Clay step is gonna be damaged. He will be called out. You're probably gonna see Clay go down very, very shortly. He's actually gonna be silly. Clay survives Priester. Does not find the glide bomb, but the 100 point lead is most definitely on the card. Here's what's scary Attach is also working on streaks as well. So, for United, this game is just spiraling out of control here. They need to just slow it down or almost wait for just a, a moment where you can just slay out, retake control. Almost just take a deep breath, yeah. right? Because right now, oh. FaZe are just running through and Lady Luck is on their side as well, apparently. And I suppose Dini holds the nade. Attach again, still working to those streaks. Zuma has streaks of his own. If you're a new United fan, now is about the time you want to close your eyes because this game isn't going to get better. It's only going to get worse. This is an ugly, ugly game one. FaZe have destroyed E United. Two sets of streaks. You're looking at Prestini at uh, 6 and 14, Silly 5 and 11, Nasty's 4 and 12. Those stat lines say it all. A very, very convincing start to the map here. Obviously, from FaZe Clan, and if you're a FaZe Clan fan, you're, uh, you're rubbing your hands together here. These guys, of course, working their way through their loser bracket. Loser of this will go out of the tournament at top six, Ben. That's an important thing is this is an elimination match now. You know, right. we're, we're talking playoffs and attach. He's on an eight kill streak. Uh, uh, and look at the minimap. Look at where two and four are. That's your submachine gun players right there from FaZe. 
attach and zoom it. They're so far pushed up away from the hill. The new hill pops. There's about five to six seconds where no one's on it. They don't care. They're putting the pressure on EU United. They're taking those gunfights so far up the map that it's forcing EU United to spawn so far. Look, look at where they're spawning. So far back barrels. It's just perfect. Perfect from FaZe because now if you're the player in the hill for FaZe, if you're replays, you're sat there going, all right, well, I haven't really seen anyone for a while. I'm just going to get the free time. Eventually someone breaks through and then all you have is Priest to track back and say, all right, my turn. Re you go slow. I'll, I'll get the final 18 seconds because e United didn't even come close to touching the hill. 11 kill streak for Atachi's finally ended, and now it is time to rain from above. We're going to see streaks upon streaks here. I have to feel pretty sorry for United right now. However, sympathy is not going to get them anywhere. You can see the slaying power of Face Clan has been too much for United. 33 points, and the Mortar Strike coming on down. It's actually not going to remove Clayster from the hard point, but one person who is is uh, Izuma. And now we're going to see more streaks, but yeah, this, this, why not? this is going to be nice. Yeah, why, why not, right? If you, if you got them, use them. Put this game completely out of reach. E United have only got 39 points. FaZe have already reached 200. This is a whitewash. <laughs> Izuma now. Well, he has a plane, so may as well throw that one out. Finds the first. Is he going to be able to shut down Silly? So they will live to fight another day, apparently. But United, they obviously playing for the rotation, but realistically, the damage has been done. There's not that many people here that would <laughs> bet on a United winning this map. Yeah, Azuma's just taking the last 10 seconds as well. It's just kind of the, the nail in the coffin, those little 1v1 gunfights that's just not going to change the game, but it's just infuriating. <laughs> it is. And phasing again on rotation. E United had that for the last maybe 15 seconds, and now FaZe in favor for these spawns, and it, it's just where United might look at each other. I, and for me, I hope they look at each other and forget this map, because they have been great uh, this playoff so far. Yes, they're in the loser bracket, and yes, this game is, you know, probably not going to get any better, but FaZe Clan absolutely smashing it out of the park. Attach is 27-9. and nine. You've just got to give credit where credit's due. Not to that glide bomb. That was a, a little bit skewed, but it's not going to change the fact that 225 points have been accumulated by FaZe Clan. Not even 50 for United. Yeah, they're finally going to break the 50-point the mark, so yay for that, I guess. But <laughs> you, you look at Zuma and Attach, I, I highlighted the work they're doing, and it just makes replays life as an AR just that much easier. 21 of 15, he's almost cruising. Uh, and really, a, a lot of props there to Priester. You, you look at his stat line, it's slap bang even. He's sat with a minute and a half hill time. Winning rotation fights when he needs to. He's really had a, a solid game as well. Something that Statline may not actually show, but the fights he has been winning have been crucial and a, a big reason why FaZe Clan are a 231 to 63 point lead. United need a miracle. Miracles have happened before, then. However, this one <laughs> will, right. uh, will need to happen right now. The docks, though, is fully in control of the United. Maybe first step, you just got to think little. You know, get out the 100-point club. Here's the problem. Five kill streak for Austin. From, from docks, you go to barrels, right? So, all right, let's say miracles happen. They get two full holds, 120 points. Congrats. We then go to lower crane, then to statue. You're telling me in those two very, very contest-heavy, scrappy hills, Facecon isn't going to get 19 points? It's not going to happen. I'm sorry. I, I would love to believe in comebacks, and this would definitely be the biggest comeback we've seen all year, but uh, 19 points and two scrappy hills? Easy. Watch. Modest strike comes on, and that obviously kills, like, seven. <laughs> I love and, it. Uh, and then look, like, United dominated. Yeah, yeah, RC's oh. just, just going to gun them all. Yeah, they're going to spawn the hill and <laughs> Priester gets a double. Yeah. No, just, but... Just like that. In all seriousness, FaZe kind of, you know, put the damage in too early. We, we had a, a game like this before. We did, we did yeah. Where... You've got to say, United, yeah, they finally are going maybe toe-to-toe. -to -toe. They're actually getting spawns. They're going to get a lot of points here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But uh, Face Clan, they're, you know, 17 points away from winning. That is either going to come in scrap time or one break or anything. To have a perfect game now for United to, to obtain 126 seconds, it, it's just not going to happen. Though. Where was this in the first rotation? Right? Where was this when the game started? Instead, you've dug yourself into such a big hole that, honestly... <laughs> It's just like ripping off a band-aid, this one, isn't it, really? Just, yeah. just get it done, get it over with. Let's let's head over to map two because 
it, it's not going to happen. Yes, all right, congrats. You reduced the deficit to 100 points, but this is my concern now. You go over towards that lower crane, then you have mid-map and another main street. Main street, if it went straight to main street now, maybe there's a chance. It's kind of crazy, though, that we were contemplating this being a 50-point game. I mean, United, they right, yeah. literally came and made this... Uh, you know, a normal looking game. Arsys just needs to wipe the whole face clan out. It's not gonna happen though, Priester. Gathering those last couple of points is actually pushed out. No one on the hard point here. It's almost like they're teasing him and playing with him. And Zuma's playing with his food as he finds three attach, finds the fourth, and that will be that. Five seconds is gonna come in. Attacks 37 and 18. That deserves a lot of credit with a 2.0 okay KD attach. Standing up and you know there's no hype around that, and rightfully so. That was just uh Pretty easy. I, I think for FaZe's perspective as well as a, a group of four there, they're probably going to be a little upset with themselves because they got a little outclassed for two, three hills. That game should have been over two minutes ago, to yeah. be completely honest with you, and they allowed United to come back into it. And, you know, you do that against the likes of, you know, your LGs, your, your TKs, your, your Optic Gamings, they, they punish you, right? You can't do that. You cannot allow teams to, to come back in games which should be over. And you think about, you know, going into the s and Either way, phase one up, I get that. But if you go into an S&D 50 point club in someone, oh, or are you yeah. different? Or are United going in now going, you know what? Yeah, we lost that, but we actually played really well towards the last kind of couple of minutes. There's a right. different mentality, but either way, phase clan 1-0 up over E United here. Of course, as a reminder, this is an elimination game, a loser bracket game. Both teams are top six, uh, but that is all the uh, the placement is going to go for one team. Of yes. course, we'll be sending one home, and I think this is where like, you kind of start to jump up the ranks in regards to a little bit of cash. Yeah, it starts to get a little steep as you get a, a little higher on that ranking and on that leaderboard, of course. Uh, worth mentioning, Arden Forest, the game two here, Search and Destroy, and it's a big one for United, right? You, you started off very, very slow. Yes, you had a little bit of momentum that yeah. came through, but you need to level up this series. You, you do not want to go down 2-0 to phase climb. It, it's just not a place you want to be, especially considering Arden Forest is the CTF, where the, I think they've played it twice and they've made pretty big mistakes on it twice. And I, I don't think they've actually won it here in stage one. So for me, this search is, is everything for United. They've had fantastic search and destroy performances throughout the day, but they need to have it here when their back truly is against the wall. I mean, how many times have we said that about United? Back against the wall, back against the wall. So often, I mean, we mentioned it earlier on, Phil. The fact they're even here is a miracle. But yeah. they are here. <laughs> and, and now it's how much damage can you do? How far can you go? So they, they just clutch you up to get to playoffs. Then they come in and 3-0 rise, was it? Yeah. Yeah, they 3-0 rise. Then they find themselves, obviously, in loser bracket. But every single series up until this point, they have one map one. I know that's only two series, and I might be exaggerating that a little bit. But he United a very hyped team. He's talking play series, getting up, roaring. This time, they got bodied on, on map one. Uh, it was closer than it should have been. Uh, but they're going into the search and destroy with a completely different mentality from the previous two series. And FaZe Clan, yeah, I think it was uh, Zuma tweeting out, you know, or, or Priest of the, the fact that they're, they love the fact they're, they're winning their S&Ds. Uh, they won two yesterday to win the series, of course, in a thrilling game five. Will they need that fifth game? Uh, we'll obviously find out. But if they continue the search and destroy in the, in the way that they are, I'd be favoring these guys to go 2-0 up. You would think, right? You would. We'll wait and see how this one plays out. Of course, game two, it's going to be our oh, Den Forest search and destroy. And we're going to kick things off with our attacking squad. It's going to be E United. No, attach actually using expeditionary here uh, on our Den Forest. Obviously, it's a division that you see a, a lot on St. Marie. But attach wants to use it here. Just help him get control of that B site. Slows down any aggressive push, but if you're United, you didn't even push over towards B with the bomb. Instead, you played mid map. Yeah, there's absolutely no map control for United here. They did get first blood, but it was traded out by Zuma. You look at Zuma, the number five on the map, and he's controlling you. And yes, that is kind of B orientated, but it's also controlling the middle of the map. And you've got someone in mean, replays, obviously, over towards the cabin, who has such a powerful position. It's very rare to kind of get taken off of this power position here. Clay and Silly both giving it the best. We'll see. Oh, that is... Okay. Oh, oh, love we it. We know he loves the pistol. But that's going to be all she wrote. And I love that. No emotion. No emotion whatsoever. <laughs> By pistol, someone I was like... Even though it's an easy shot, really, for a professional player. Be like, hey, you guys you see that, man? Look at that pistol shot. Give me a little bit of gas. Gas me. Yeah, exactly. Just what they need. But uh, another round on the board for FaZe. Of course, that man... Was on hot mic talking about this 1,000 days, Ben. 
It's a long time. It is. What was I doing 1,000 days ago? Still competing. <laughs> Bad times. <laughs> uh, as it stands, though, FaZe, they win the first round. Of course, it was a United to get the first blood, and Thatch now shown his uh, versatility. First round expeditionary. Second round pulls out a snipe. Is he going to find the pick, though? That's the question, because it's going to be Clay over towards Cabin Wall, and Clay spots Thatch. And this is the first shot, and made to punish, really, or made to pay, I should say. The nade kill comes through, and another first blood for United. Lovely kill as well. I know it just came up as a nade, but the way the nade landed, I think he put maybe one, maybe two bullets in him as the grenade blew up. Perfect execution there, and Zuma getting up, Zuma getting up close and personal. Not going to change the fact, though, is that United do hold a very strong defense. And I'll tell you what, it's a bit of an United oh, this, crowd here, This you know? crowd is heavy, heavy favorites for, for United, that's for sure. The uh, crowd getting loud through every single one of their games, and, you know, we, we mentioned how important the crowd can be. The fifth man sometimes, and especially here in Columbus. You know, it may not be the, the biggest of, of crowds, but I can tell you when the atmosphere gets uh, gets going, the players, they feel it. Oh, yeah. I mean, limited seats obviously available here. They were sold out instantly, but now getting into uh, round number three here. We've seen both defensive wins. No real bomb action going down, but we're getting a very fast, aggressive play towards the A-bomb side. This is a United, I think. Priester, and of course replays, they're gonna feel it straight away here. Replays the first to feel it. Priester may be able to bite back with one. He will, but now, he needs to stay alive. He needs to wait for his teammates. Not going to happen because the aggressiveness of Pristini onto Priester. The tongue twister coming in. But a United coming off better. Nice grenade from Zuma. All leveled up to a piece. Uh, and that's big because it opens up Zuma to actually push through Fire Alley. But unfortunately drops very quickly. Especially considering he had a touch behind him. And uh, now attached left. The one on two. You don't, you don't give them the kill. Pristini needs to just stay alive. Just lay down. Keep peeking. Yep, still there. Yep. Still there. Just the old and jiggle. The old jiggle, right? You, you do it for yeah. information. You get the information and then you just make sure you stay alive. You don't feed any unnecessary kills. You, you're turning that into a 1v1 there is uh, pretty detrimental. But of course, Prestini, very wise. Jiggle peeks and finds the kill himself. So good round there from E United. And that was a, a round where FaZe actually had two expeditionary classes. So surprised to, to see that. But we'll see if they, they keep that going. I really do feel we may as well just skip to game five. It, it just feels that way. <laughs> Playoffs is so intense. There's so much talk about social media, uh, on social media, about kind of the intensity of these games, how close they've been, the, the hard points, the S&Ds. It's only round 11, so many close, close games. Love to see it. And now we're gonna see FaZe Clan go, I was gonna say all in at B, but it's the sun. school grenades have stopped that right in its tracks. Yep, they are forced to kind of reevaluate, but when you reevaluate and you get a pick mid map and then everything else opens up, instantly it goes back in your favor of Silly. Tries to go for the double, leaves Clay 1v3. Another great nade from Clay. I'm sure that's actually his third nade kill. Has he got a kill with his gun? I don't think he has. I think all of his kills have actually been from nades. The, the grenade comes from the communication. We saw Silly tag him up, and we know the chemistry between Silly and Clay. It's almost like a second set of twins, those guys. Pristini and Arstis have, uh, have had some very strong series, but I think Silly is kind of, you know, the talk of the town at the moment for a player of that kind of goes under the radar. He's really been stepping it up, mainly for me in the respawns, actually. Yeah, his respawn statistics have been very, very impressive. Still, of course, uh, does the dirty job, if you will, the dirty role for this United squad. Does it very, very well. It's worth mentioning in terms of the stats in the league. Led almost every objective category, but in terms of uh, round five here, Prestini falls. Another first blood for FaZe, their second so far of the game, but you look at that minimap and you can see the fact that e United, they're just being almost collapsed in over towards you. Really, not much they can do, but play opens up uh, maybe a potential play with a kill on Zoomer, and still he also shuts down attach. Pri Priesta tries to trade RCs there, though, to trade. And now all of a sudden, Replace is left in a 1v2. And it doesn't take a genius to know, you know, where Replace will have been playing from. Of course, the cabin. The question is, does he rotate right round and back through his spawn? Now they have that answer. It's down to a 1v1, of course. Arsties, Replace. The bomb will go in the hands of Arsties. But interesting strategy from Replace here. He's just kind of gone, you know what? So what? You might plant the bomb. But... It's it's funny, right? Because you have the one player you would want in this situation on a United, which is Arstis, versus just a veteran of replays. Replays understands, all right, I have expeditionary hunker on. I'm very loud. Let me just do a quick lap, check the A site. 
But at this point, he has all the information he needs. He knows Arsys has to be over the B site. He gets the actual confirmation because Bomb is planted. And uh, now it's just kind of a battle of nerve for replays. Can he read what Arsys is going to do correctly? Arsys, I believe, had the PPSH. He may have an STG as well, but replays is... Oh, okay, uh, that's not... <laughs> that's not what you want to do. Hop it. But now replays is waiting for the pick. He's relying on his on a shot, which will take him off. The thing is now Arsys has seen him not on the bomb. The problem with this is replays are so loud. Not having inconspicuous or mountain on means if he wants to try and push out, Arsys is going to hear him. And Arsys actually checks. I don't think there would have been enough time even to get the defuse, but replays does pick up the kill. Doesn't matter though. E United with the round win. Difficult one that. Bit of a 50-50 when replays gets the first kill. Uh, you know, he rotates to A and he might have just got Lucky with the timing. Unfortunately for him, RC sticks to his guns at B. Uh, but we'll say credit to RCTs there. He played the clock very well. He got the initial shots, backed off when he needed to. I Smart loved, heads up play. Would have loved to see Reap just hop the bomb. As soon as RCTs fired the first time, like he's checked bomb. You know he's checked bomb, clearly, because that's where he was shooting at. Yeah. And that gives you maybe just a little bit of a window. How big the window is? Well, obviously, that's hindsight, but still. Now, E United with the advantage. It's Arsides that pulls out the sniper rifle. Nice clean shot onto attach. The push is going to come through from Zuma. <laughs> All right, pal. That's a little flamboyant. Really nothing else you could do in the situation, however. And now Clay's left 1v3. Yeah, and you, lo you love it. Like, Zuma's like, oh, you're sniping back there. That's cute. Like, okay, <laughs> cool. Hi. I've got a PBSH. I fire like 600 rounds a minute. But this one should end with the bait and switch. And it will do FaZe Clan there. Sharing the damage here onto the last player reunited. But again, credit to Zuma. Love the heads up. Just runs at him when he sees the sniper. Yeah, wonderful way of, of opening up that the map. But again, I want to give some, some credit to replays. The way he just played that. 3v1, right? He's a little, I don't want to say out of position, but he recognizes he's a bit far away from his teammates at Bell. Clay's obviously pushing him. He's fired some bullets. Just tracks straight back to his teammate. Straight back. No hesitation. Sometimes you see players take those gunfights, and that's where kind of those 1v3s all of a sudden turn into 1v2s and gets a, a little nervy. Replays just backs all the way up, has a teammate there, the bait, the switch, comes through and ultimately finds the kill as well. I think it's interesting as well, you look at the divisions, the pro, uh, pro league divisions of who's out now, mm -hmm. and you've got a Rise Nation who, uh, you know, we all know how great they were, since they were in first, you had uh, Envy, I believe, who came third. Um, yep. But, uh, uh, you know, these are two teams where E United, they only just made it in. How crazy would it be for a team who <laughs> just clutched up to even get there? If they win the series for you guys at home, they'll be top four. And, uh, you know, a lot of cash on the line. I really do need to check them. Down. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> All I know is that I just keep shouting half a million at everyone. <laughs> it's a lot of money. It's definitely life-changing amounts, that's for sure. As Clay with a sniper turns to the right. That's Zuma that falls. Attach, your turn 1v2. Oh, ho, ho. swing and a miss. Attach tries to make the play. Doesn't matter, though. E United close that round out. Little, uh, little scary there, though, Phil. Gonna be honest. Yeah, when Silly got inside with a PPSH. Uh, and again, those are the plays where the veterans he shows, he knows, you know, let's take this indoors. Come, <laughs> come on into the cabin. Let's have this gunfight. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. E United do take another round. Beautiful snipe from Clay. I mean, it was simple, but, you know, those are the ones where you've got to hit it. If you miss that, that goes from a, a 1v1 to a 1v2 for United. But 4-3 is the scoreline. We're heading to round number eight, and we wouldn't have it any other way. As close as it can be right now. Double digits for Zuma. However, he's going to be the first picked, and that's from Arsties. And this is massive, right? Because it's going to be the first time where a team potentially gets a bit of a cushion. Prestini had to just double check there. Reap actually fell. Uh, and like I said, this could give them that two-round cushion. It could be a 5-3 lead. Attach is going to get beamed by Arsties. He's having none of that. Put some respect on his name. Priester for the 1v3. E United fly. Adam falls, and now they put themselves at map point. Well, FaZe clutched up with the double s and victories yesterday. Uh, and to do that today, they're going to need to turn this forest around. I've loved the play style from United. Prestini nearly, <laughs> nearly uh, gave replays a free kill there, but luckily reacted to, uh, to his missed shot and finished him. Worth mentioning, they've obviously put themselves at map point, but now you have to close it out. Don't allow FaZe to come back in and make this one interesting. 5-3, of course, the current lead. United on the attack, and smokes go out. Priester left, kind of questioning, all right, well, what is going on out here? He has the support of replays inside cabin. Well, 
Will they find the pick, though? That's the question as Priesta actually pushes up. He's been tagged, and that could be a United sign to go. All three players shooting at him, and this could be a bad timing for him. He's going to look to the left, look to the right. He needs to find one before he goes down. He will, but he's not going to finish the kill. Playster destroys Zuma on the flank, only finds one. And now a 2v2 as attaches grenade connects with Prestini. Arsties and Silly. Attach and replace. 45 seconds left on the clock. It looks like all the intel's out there. Everyone knows where each other is. Right. It's just about who can make the all-important play Silly peeking out. Attach looking to capitalize. I don't feel like everyone from United probably should have been dead at some point in this round. But as it stands, Silly. 1v2, catch and replays with 20 seconds to go and he needs to plant the bomb. You basically just got to pick a fight. You can't just keep dither dallying around mid map. Simply going to run out of time and well, attach takes the fight, wins the fight. Of course he does. We wouldn't have a nine round S&D, Ben. <laughs> what a silly thing to think. We're going to go <laughs> to round number 10 here. Phase still down. But again, a comeback from 5-3 would really set themselves up nicely uh, for a CTF. If they win this, it's series over. Series over. The destruction of map one, a 5-3 comeback in map two, it's not even worth playing the R, then. It'd be a 3 it, Pretty sure that'd be my first 3-0 that I've ever casted in World War II. <laughs> it, it's kind of crazy to think, like, a lot of people have, you know, kind of forgot about the whole Clayster phase and, you know, the, the, the rival, not the rivalry necessarily, but the, the storylines behind this match as well. Sure. Clay will want to win this. Clay, Clay will want to beat FaZe as much as FaZe will want to knock him out too. Again, maybe people will just see it as another match, but look at the disparity of kills on a United 7-7, 7 7 7 7, seven, seven and 5 7 a United, one round away. That's they only need three more kills and replays. That oh, I feel no. like he basically just killed Zoom. He, he, he did. He gave him a little love tap and Zuma's probably like, whoa, what the hell is behind me? Uh, and that's one of those where it just can't happen in a round 10. You're already down a man, and all well, the love tap comes through, and Reaper will be kicking himself, but Priesta tries to keep the hopes and dreams alive with FaZe. Now 2v3, Reap still mid-map. Bear in mind, Priesta, he, I like this. he has the bomb in hand, though. This is the problem. Ooh. He's all by himself. He, he needed a little bit of support. The cavalry will come through. Arsene's still mid-map. Arsene's wins the gunfight, and he united. Level things up, Phil. One map apiece. All tied up. Silly's foot was all tied up then. <laughs> he nearly tripped over. But uh, apart from that, we're going to be heading to a CTF, of course. You know, one apiece. It, it, this is what happens when you have the caliber of teams that we have here at the Stage 1 playoffs. E United and FaZe. Hardpoint S and D back and forth. And it's kind of crazy if you recap this whole series so far. The hard point, if you missed it, you know, FaZe kind of came out and blew E United out of the water. It's good to see a team be able to go. Forget it, reset, and they come and take the S&D. Yeah, something that often kind of gets overlooked is, is that ability, the short-term memory, if you will. Sometimes uh, teams take that hard L in game one and it carries through to game two. But, I mean, you also mentioned that the fact, look at the kill column for e United, very, very even. It was, what, 7-7-7-5 seven, 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 going into that final round. And you have a quick look at the phase clan. It's just Zuma once again putting up great numbers there for the squad. But sadly, the great numbers were not enough for phase in game two. We're all square, one map apiece. Of course, still to come. CTF on Arden Forest, where we've seen both teams struggle a little bit so far this weekend. You have to feel it's going to be a battle of the team that makes the least mistakes.
Ladies and gents, welcome back. It's stage one playoffs here at the CWL, presented by PlayStation 4. And we're at that part of the day now where it's uh, time to see some teams go home, Phil. Of course, uh, <laughs> this matchup, we're all tied up 1-1. E United versus Space. We head over now to a CTF and R Den Forest. And the big question is, you know, who will take that fifth, sixth spot? That is the question. Well, we're all tied up here. The way you said it there, I thought you were going to start kicking teams out. Like, uh, time to go home. Get out. Get out. Go Get on. Get out. You can take your th tens of thousands of pounds, dollars, <laughs> should I say. But Forest CTF is coming up next. We'll be sticking with Forest. We will be seeing the St. Marie demand at half point. However, Ben, let's just get straight back into it. CTF. Now, we've already seen this. We've already cast this amongst the likes of Red Reserve. Phase, I think we saw play this previously or one team and they just darted straight down. It was e United. E United. Yeah. They played uh, Bellside. When they uh, when they had uh, Phase's spawn, they actually just flooded ruins. They just said, all right, forget everything else. It was interesting. I'm curious to see if they do it again when they actually have that spawn in the second half. Well, already an interesting CTF. We see flag pulls coming in from Prestini. Unfortunately for him, he's going to run into trouble. And now we're going to chump on board with the Italian Stallion as he goes down. I expected more there, but I didn't see Silly on the minimap creeping his way through the middle. He's going to find one, but replay shut him down. Very back and forth at the moment, but that kill from Attach could open things up here better. He needs to be quick though, because players might actually spawn behind him over towards Bell side, and that is the spawn that ultimately comes through there from Silly and Arstis. And replays still has a potential here of making something happen. Of course, for him now, it's just about buying time for his teammates to rotate over towards him. 60 seconds already gone. This is a great position for Faye. Silly, though. That power position is very, very hard to beat. Pristini is going to be taken down. And uh, luckily for Faye's clan, Zuma finds the all-important kill. So he's just going to say fend off himself. He's actually found a second onto Clacer as well, so... The one thing I always say, Forest CTF, it's all about them streaks. It really is. Who's um, going to be the one to get it? Zuma's on a three, but he's just been taken down. Sorry, United choked a fair amount as Prestini challenges uh, replays. But yeah, United early run on their R dance. It was not pretty, but Silly snuck through. He's pulled the flag. No, he hasn't. Oh, yes, sorry. He has. Pulls the flag. Gets a kill with the flag as well. Now, you mentioned streaks. Streaks on for Silly. A cat will give it to him. RC's, of course, watching the cross. There's going to be two players from FaZe over there. He tags up both. Ultimately falls. Prestini has to go big now. Replays is a player outside of Bunker. He should recognize that he hasn't found him yet. Tags him up. But Prestini with the double seals the deal. And that is going to be streaks for Silly. Yeah, and Prestini there picks up the double without even taking a bullet. The way he moved, he bobbed, he weaved, he threw the grenade. Everything was spot on and he united. Now have the lead not only in map, but technically the series here. They got blown out in the hard point. But then I talked about streaks. Now we're talking silly on a five kill streak. Austin's buddy, you need to get a kill. Well, actually, no, you don't. You're all right. Your team's winning. <laughs> but it'd be nice. Oh my God, silly Silly's beaming. Just, six streak hasn't slowed down and he might get to the point where if he wins another couple of gunfights, streak now, you know? See, see if he can potentially try and flood his teammate that's going to be proceeding. He wins a gunfight over towards Cabin Ooh. side, which sadly is not. Uh, you would have loved to see their streaks rain in and potentially United try and just give himself a bigger lead. Well, there you go, Arcees. He's picked up a nice double. He's got himself off the mark. Now Clayson needs to go big here on the defense. He's seen the shadow of one's pre-step. Can he find the double? He'll find it, won't secure it, as that flag is now away. The problem is you've given it to Zuma, who he's quick, believe me. He'll be trying to get into the cabin. Will he reach it, though? Oh, he's a tight one. He's going to find himself at the cabin. He's got the support of his teammates as well. Prestini just like that. Prestini didn't have any nades to use. That's so unfortunate. And <laughs> Face, they're going to go ahead and cap. I love it. I absolutely love it. The back and forth. CTF action. It's a joy to watch and attach again. The shot on this boy is incredible. Four kill streak for him. He's working towards that fighter pilot. However, oh, he's got to challenge it. He's got to go for the streak. Surely not. I was going to say, Prestini has to have the STG out. He's going to find a second as well. The twins are starting to heat up. Well, I'll tell you one player who is constantly impressing me. I can't praise him enough. He's silly. I'm kind of surprised to see the, the streak actually used there. Now you rely on that gunfight being won, which to his credit, he does. You got about three seconds until a couple players are going to spawn up. So if you're Prestini, you, you got to go. If you're going to go for the flag, there's no point in the dallying around. Ultimately, he drops and three players fall. And Arceus has to keep the push alive. He drops and just like that, the, the entire push is basically 
just ruined, if you will. And replays, he's managed to pull the flag now for phase. And I love how fast the replays got up there. Because he got up there so quick, he forces the bell spawn and not the back bunker spawn. Now it's down to his teammates to pick it up. Streaks are in, and it's only replays left alive. Talk about a CTF already. Replays, he's running the back now. Yeah, I mean, he has to. He has to just try and stay alive. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, he will fall. Bear in mind, United have pulled the flag as well. Oh, my goodness. And we'll see how far has Clay managed to get. The problem is he's so open. If anyone can get to cabin wall, I don't think FaZe are going to reach it. 14 seconds left, and EU United will go 2-0 up. And I love that. Give Prestini the flag. Why? Because he was close to the streaks. Clay says, kill me. Pick up the flag. Cap it. EU United showing initiative as well. Brains and skill from this squad. Oh my goodness, what a turn of events. That CTF is incredible. We've had a joy of casting some for a CTF. And like I said in the last one, the meta changes really helped it in, in that sense. And do you know what? It is fast becoming one of my favorites. When it's so back and forth like this and the street usage is this interesting. Right. I love it. Correct me if I'm wrong though. United were in the lead early on in that, in that game at halftime with streaks and lost. So this one, <laughs> it's not over. Oh no. They, they play. I mentioned earlier on, they, they play the preferred side opening, just very weird. But we go. I mean, we'll see if they're just going to flood straight through Bell. There's two players there that doesn't look like they're going to go for it this time. And the opening start, not good for United. Silly, not going to win the fight. Freeze has already pulled the flag, but luckily it's the rock of this United squad. It's Arshatiz. He's just so damn consistent. You ask him to do a job, and he produces the goods time and time again. I, I asked him to get a kill. He's followed up with nine, and only two deaths <laughs> since there. So, you know, credit to him. Five kill streak for him. We he, talk about streaks, Ben, and I, it, it's a, it'd be another lifeline. Just if, sit at the back of the map. Stay alive. Like, just I would legitimately just try and bait someone from face to pull the flag. This is where the, the exact position where Jcap got his full streaks, and Luminosity went on, of course, for the CTF victory. Oh, my, your teammate. Don't Jeez. shoot him one off streaks. <laughs> They're actually going to invest the streaks, and I do like this. They can take Priester out of the game, which they will. However, the back bunker spawn does come in, unfortunate for them, but it's a 4v2 at this given time. Attach. Oh, oh. that's one you. I was going to say you need to win this. Maybe a bit of a statement, but E United, what they can do now is if. if needed they can use a streak on the way home here here's the problem though rcd's has a flag and has streak so you're relying on prestini prestini needs to go big with the fighter pilot just to give some extra cavalry some extra support there's one player left mid matt they call it out rcd's is he going to be able to secure the deal yes he is three one lead now for e united i think that hesitation was him basically saying is it worth someone killing me off my streak yeah. to give someone else streaks? But in that kind of situation, you, you're still looking for a couple of players in phase. That's where things can kind of go pretty bad. Yeah, put it in, stay alive. Just get it in. It, yeah. It's not like you've got 10 seconds left and you're, you're certain of the situation. Priester going down is going to give me one certainty, and that is uh, United are going to hold on for at least another 30 seconds before even phase can get to their flag. A beautifully timed grenade from Attach. He's going to take Arsties off that cabin wall, but. You look across the board right now, uh, and overall, yes, the slain side, you know, slightly favors E United, but the collectiveness, the, the timing of the kills for E United have been brilliant. I actually really like their street usage as well. The whole thing yep. has just come and talking to streaks, Ben. Yep, Clay, he's a kill away. He's a kill away, and I've been very kind of critical so far of the United on CTFR to Forest, and they've improved so much just from what we saw last map to this map, and I think it shows, to, to your point, the streak usage has been damn near perfect, but Clay is not going to get the streaks replays with a big, big win, but it's okay because RC still has full streaks. It, it would have to be pretty impressive choke to throw this one away. It really would. Two minutes, 15 seconds. This is where they need to start making the comeback. That's a beautiful start for attach. If he finds another, that'd be great. But That's look at that. Mortar. The mortar's actually been invested. That's terrible. It's mortar. way too slow. That's However, terrible. Christini on the attack here. What he could do and what I'd love to see him do is go past the flag. Like that? Just like that. Let's see now, because he's got an assault rifle in a perfect position. He's going to find one now. He can sit back, wait for the help. The glide bomb's all the help he needs. Will he dive it in? Yes, he will. I say dive it in. Return, of course. Oh, oh the no. Shots, the not, not like this. <laughs> oh, you just had to, didn't you? You just had to, Preston. You just had to add the extra little bad juju that could come through here as Arsenis, he's just going to go straight for the fighter pilot. Maybe a, a little preemptively here. Bear in mind now there's... There's no streaks left for United with a yeah. minute and a half. And FaZe, they're slaying. They're coming straight through. Prestini has to stay alive. Buy some time for his teammates. He drops. Fleck potentially going to be pulled. Replace has it in hand. And FaZe, they're away. The stun's come through. 
Will Priest is gonna cut. We're there. Hang on a second. We do see a kill come in. Priester, he's gonna find Arstis. Now, the flag's gonna be in his hands, but look at Pristini. He's a player who loves to overextend. This time, I wanna see him pull that flag away. He doesn't wanna overextend. He's not got the help of his teammates. He's not got Dead. the help. Oh my he's goodness, dead. grenade combination comes in. They still need the return. Oh, I it bet they wish they now. had that fighter pilot round about now. 50 Prestini, seconds. Prestini, you had to shoot the bodies, didn't you? You had to make it interesting. E United fans, hearts in their mouths. 45 seconds left. They've got one, maybe two more pushes at this. That's a nice start here. Azuma denies Clay to anything. But the problem is the map control right now is all E United. I can't believe this is happening. I, I'm just, I, I'm still trying to understand why Arstis used his fighter pilot. Uh, I mean, it was, it was, just, it was no basically, point. there was a one-on-one -on -one going down in bunker. If he cleaned up the kill, it probably would have been another pull. Everyone lost the gunfights. But anyway, forget about that. We've got 15 seconds, Ben. Let's think about the kills on hand. Silly, sad on the flag. That's, that's just waiting this to be gonna killed. This is going to be a flag pull. This is going to be a flag pull. Replays is just collapsing in. Clay has to go big. There's one. Four seconds. Someone from face has to touch the flag. Attach. He's not going to be able to get there. And he united. Hold on for their lives. Here in Columbus, Ohio, map three goes their way. But that just got way too close, unnecessarily close. Wow, CTF, so, so close. We saw a lot of kind of counter pulls, some overextending coming from Prestini. You know, I think two of the flag caps was closer and replays. You don't expect that. Really interesting CTF by all means, but what do you expect? We're at the stage one playoffs. The best of the best is here. And again, it is kind of, now we start talking, we talk map four. You know, do, do we United break that top six curse? Did they do Saint it at playoffs? St. Marie, you mentioned earlier on, if there's ever a time to have one of your better performances, it's right here at playoffs. Clay with a great game, 24 and 15. He was just holding down Cabin Wall yeah. really well. Doing, doing his job, right? Doing a fantastic job. No, nope, Prestini, three returns. It's funny because we saw the video piece earlier on where he was kind of like, yeah, I, learned, I don't always have to be the hero. Well, you were the hero that map. I'm going to tell you that. <laughs> Making some phenomenal plays there for EU United. Keeps them uh, in control and it also, you know, allows them to take that game. So heading over to St. Marie, it was one of the guys on the desk said, well, yeah, St. Marie, EU United, this could be uh, a good combination for them. It, it really could be. And again, Silly, if he can keep playing at this pace, it is great to see. He was the kind of the one that everyone doubted. Uh, the one where people will have looked at first, maybe for a roster change if they didn't make playoffs, but now they make it into playoffs. They start making a run. They knock out Rice who came first in the league. Uh, it's, it is, it's so much to think about right now. It oh. really, really is. Um, obviously some great performances, but United himself now one map away from staying alive keeping the dream alive here at stage one players it guarantees you top four finish of course uh, you know, we'll see them in action again tomorrow should they win championship sunday and get the best of the likes of clayster it's been a while since we really had a a good solid losers bracket run from the likes of himself but you know, you look at the rest of the series, St. Marie Dumont, Hardpoint, and London Docks, Game 5, Search and Destroy. I feel like, just because it's me and you, Phil, uh, it's Game 5s. With the Game 5 Wizards. It just always seems to be the case, but I'm trying to think of this logically now going into it. And I, I said before... <laughs> Stage 1 playoffs, the logic has nothing to yeah, do with Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> We've seen some absolutely just balmy games, if you will. Just crazy results come through. Unbelievably close hard points. Round 11s almost every single time we've seen searches, apart from what would be two, two series. CTFs with just crazy moments as well. Overtimes, everything. We've had, we've had it all. We have, quite frankly, had it all. Uh, and this has been, in terms of gameplay quality, the best event of the year. Oh, without a doubt. And we're not even done for day two. After this, we've got another elimination game. I believe it's Red Reserve. Uh, we'll be taking on TK. And uh, that'll be one for the books. But this could be the last map for FaZe Clan. They managed to steal first seed away from LG. United, though, two to one. And what's funny, not only could it be the last map for FaZe Clan, it could be the last map as that call four, if you will. Oh yeah, we, we've obviously been mentioning a little bit about we're expecting Rostamania to come. Slash has already kicked that off with an FA tweet. 
Poor performances here at the biggest event of the year so far. Well, it's definitely a catalyst. Crazy thing is, if one of these teams go on, you know, you, uh, a team you may be expected to make a change may not. You know, they may just grind it out. We'll have to Maybe. wait and see, though. But interesting enough, Ben, 30 seconds already gone. It's only 9 to 4. No real points gathered off this one. But the one thing that FaZe do have there, they're retaining those spawns. And note what Arsty's actually started with. Expeditionary class. Wanted the nade, wanted the stun. And the funny thing is, look at the streak he's on as well. 4-0 and oh start, close to streaks. You've got Silly at 3-0 and oh start as well. And basically all Arsenis is doing here is baiting out to see if anyone at all wants to just try and push that hill. He would have managed to Ooh. potentially steal a 300 points there, which would have given him a streak. So very, very smart play from Arsenis. He just now needs to make sure that he doesn't play too passive here. Yes, he's playing for the streaks. The streaks are so important, but you have to still have an impact on the map. And if that impact is picking up the kill on attached crossing, so be it. But it's just lasting so it, long. And this is like a, a 3v3 essentially elsewhere, and he doesn't even find the kill. I was going to say, if his teammates pick up the kills elsewhere, it's fine, which they actually do. And they, they retain those spawns. Now, if possible, let's just stay on our board with Arsties. That's the gunfight you don't want. The close range PPS8, silly, continuing to be dominant. Five and two, what a beast. So you don't get the streaks, which is a little unfortunate, but you do break through a winery. And ultimately, I'm going to get what, maybe 12 seconds. They, Gave away a lot of free time there. They were very worried about the rotations and FaZe sit about halfway up on the map. They're waiting for that pressure to come through and RC's leading the charge as he has done for this United squad for so, so long. As much as streaks are very entertaining, I am interested to see he, how e United go about breaking the FaZe setup here. They're very good on winery. Now, are they able to slay out? Clayston might be the catalyst, of course, on the hot flank here, but two pushing players pushing through. We're going to see a trade and Pristini, he is not shy in a one-on-one -on -one gunfight. He's gone in, he's got aggressive. The grenade isn't going to connect, and Clayster, here we go. Is it the catalyst? He's going to trade out. Pristini's already in there. He's found one. Attack says no with the double, and FaZe, they're going to hold on. And this is a lot of time now coming in for FaZe on parking lot. Another 30 seconds still left, and E United, they're forced to funnel straight through the front. One player still there, it is Clay, and Clay actually may get a couple of free... Oh, he just got turned on by Priest, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, that... Well, we didn't see it, but the arrows, well, they showed it. You sorry, Ben. Attached, close to streaks, he falls, Prestini, with the pick. And I tell you, parking lot was a fantastic kill for FaZe Clan. I, I feel like that might be the story of this actual map. Close, but not close enough to streaks. I feel like that, again, when you go in to the nail, it, if, a, if a player can kind of get fully streaked out, it's so, so big. FaZe Clan, though, in full control of the hard point. Zuma just boosted. There is eight, is seven. Priest's turn to be closer streaks. Can he get him? And you see the way that he just kind of passively pulls away. All he needs for a fighter pilot is to actually capture this next hard point, but it's 40 seconds away. So you got to start running around and this could be the first and he'll get the capture as well. And oh. he'll get the second. That's a fully streaked out player, a six kill streak. He's on fire right now as he pulls out the STG. Priester, <laughs> Priester. A seven streak, fully streaked out. FaZe Clan have just kind of shifted into another gear here on St. Marie du Mont. First rotation about to come to an end and it was very, very close. First hill, second hill, phase turned things around and I mean, they've even turned lookout posts into essentially a, a bit of a money hill as well. Yeah, uh, I mean, we, we remember the first half point and how dominant it was. It was a lot more dominant than this, this one to kick things off. But Priester, 10 and eight, it really doesn't reflect of what he has in the back pocket. Of course, they won't be invested on this hill, uh, but he united. I'm telling you now, they need to go big here on the hill. Zuma finds the double, and now FaZe kind of going, going to come pouring in. Clay Shred Silly do deny. Attach finds one. It is back and forth, but FaZe can't retain the restaurant hill. Still 40 seconds left. Uh, and it's this, this type of hill where the streaks aren't going to be an impact, which is even more important that E-United manage to control, because yeah. what happens now is when we go over towards that second hill, FaZe can almost be a, a, a little slower in terms of how they want to rotate, because they, they won the rotation essentially the first time. Now you can invest more to the second hill, use the streaks to help you out, and that's only going to dig United into a bigger, bigger hole. Worth mentioning, Clay does get streaks of his own, however, so something good to counter, but this game, it, it was so close, and now it's just not. Yeah, hey, we could see streaks galore right now. Another 100-point lead for FaZe Clan, and we've seen what point leads can do. Priest is going to jump around, try and bait out, but little does he know it was just the time he needed. Priestini takes him down, though. As again, that tongue twister will never get easy. Priestini. Priest and Priestini. I'll, uh, I'll try. But Zuma is going to back off from that gunfight and he's, uh, I 
believed he was going to go and join his team, but he's right back in the fight. Christine is going to take him out. Interesting bet. And I like this from both teams. They're not investing in the streaks. They're thinking of parking lot. It's all about this rotation. That's when you're going to see the first streak come through. And I am curious to see if FaZe actually recognizes that Clay has those streaks. So when he has two, play one shot. You expect the push to come through from Priesta. More nades raining down. And honestly, what's funny is Clay, if he instead alive there, obviously he was weak, really not much he could have done, would have got dangerously close to overlapping those streaks. Yeah. But ultimately now it's going to be FaZe picking up the scrap time. And again, I don't want to kind of beat the dead horse, but this is not close. FaZe E United head to head in hardpoint. It just seems like FaZe have their number. They are just better. Okay, well, street usage does come in. That's a glide bomb that doesn't connect. But, bit of a weird split here. Because now, I think this is placed on your screens. Yes, it is. It is, does find one. Now we're going to see the fighter pilot come down. Only going to connect with the one, but the information is there. And now we're going to see another fighter pilot. We're probably going to see the artillery barrage as well. I think there may be one more streak available. The important thing to note is United actually spawning a, a little deep simply because of the pressure Replays was able to put on the map for FaZe. Wow. And just like that, FaZe breakthrough into parking lot with 30 seconds left. That's going to put them you know, very, very close to, to just winning the game outright. I mean, we saw when we went over to that kind of final hill, FaZe turned that into a bit of a money hole in the first rotation and this is just a, another fantastic performance from FaZe. I mean, you, you look at the stat column. Nothing too crazy. Reap with a minute uh. 30. He just sits in the hill. You know, attached 21 of 14. Great game from him. Priest to 18 to 16. Zuma 20 and 19. It's just they have more kills. Shocker, uh, we're playing an FPS. You kill the other team more, you're going to win the game. And attached there, he, he gets a, a 1v1, which simply just gets him another 10 seconds. That's a 20 second swing. Artillery barrage coming in for Priester. He connects with one. His STG is going to do the rest. So Simple good. as that. He's this so guy's having a great good. playoff. Oh, he is just really shone this weekend. It's a shame, of course, FaZe find himself uh, in the loser's bracket, but Priester really has had a phenomenal event. Cannot give this man a, a enough love, if you will, but 224th to 101. Said we won a game five, Phil. I, 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 I said we may as well just skip to it. <laughs> you did. You did. <laughs> it's inevitable at this point. Uh, but 24 points is what's going to separate Faith Clan, of course, from that game five. And it is kind of, it is kind of similar, but, you know, to the first half point. And it is interesting because Faze won their first series out of their S and Ds, and they lost right. their half points. I think uh, they may have won one, but this time they're going to push it to a game five with the half points. So, like you said, Ben, like you said before, they, they've simply outslayed. Attach. You know, positive nine, we've got Priester absolutely killing it as well. Zuma and replays everything uh, that they need. More streaks are available. Do not need them. It's, it's funny because that game was almost the polar opposite of what we saw game one, right? That started off very, very close, back and forth. Both teams kind of uh, avoiding the hill, playing for the spawns, and then all of a sudden phase shifts into another gear. Map one was phase just blitz straight through United, and then United made a little bit of a comeback. So uh, the story of the hard points, at the end of the day, FaZe just better. And Clay shakes his head, recognizes we're going to a game five here, and we need to clutch up if United is going to stay alive and progress through here at the stage one place. Of course, this, an elimination game. It's going to be tough as we head over to a game five. London docks search and destroy. FaZe Clan versus United.
It's game five time. E United versus FaZe Clan. Loser eliminated from the stage one playoffs. Winner lives to fight in Championship Sunday. There will only be four teams left fighting for their share, of course, of half a million dollars. This series has not disappointed. Look at the way it's gone. 250 to 145. Don't let the score fool you. That was all FaZe Clan map one. Game two, E United clutch up, take 6-4. The Arden Forest was almost uh, a little too close for comfort, but E United closed that one out. And then again, the other hard point, FaZe Clan completely dominate St. Marie Dumont. And that sends us now to a game five, London Docks, Search and Destroy. Map one to four just don't matter anyway. They don't matter. It's, uh, I I'm saying the same thing. It's not a script. <laughs> I'm sad it with Ben again. De deja vu, Phil. Yeah, it's playoffs. It's game five. <laughs> and, and it's phase once again. I will say just before we get into this S&D, phase, they had a, what, a like I said, 7 point, half point, 2 point, 5 points. Now a combined 250 in just the series. Crazy to think, let's kick it off with what is usually the first Blood King, Zuma, running straight down the neck. And I'm United. curious to see if Clay actually goes with the sniping strat that he had uh, a little bit of success with earlier on in the day. STG out for him, but already the first blood in the form of replays as FaZe are on the attacking side. So they have the advantage. We heavily tagged the Barca's going to try and throw that nade out towards him, but deep smoke thrown and Clay can't see the cross. There you have it. Prestini will be first to take him down. There's the bomb plan. Now, if you look at the minimap here, all three players for United, very poor positions. That's not going to help. Neither is that. And Clayster, <laughs> at this point, just try and find a kill or just hop on the bottom and hope uh, you turn invisible because 30 seconds with a defuse to happen. It's, uh, it, it's not a great position. But first round, just go to FaZe Clan. Yeah, very well-structured attack there from FaZe. They obviously hold on to that smoke till late in the round. They Cut off an entire choke point. Clay has no information whatsoever, and then three players kind of caught out of position. I think if, if Reap dies maybe a little earlier on there, maybe that round is a little different, but either way, FaZe take round number one. They have the advantage, and there, look at Clay. You really look at him to bring that veteranness and experience through to moments just like this. And speaking of Clay, sniper rifle in hand, he's already spotted replays. Is he going to find the pick? Not going to happen. And Reap does actually cross in the moment where Clay jiggles. He should also see a touch on water steps. Two players from face already at the A side. 60 seconds nearly upon us here. No players gone down just yet. But a clean sweep on round number one for FaZe sets them up really nicely here. And look at the mid-map, the full control here coming in for FaZe. I love this mid-map control. And Zuma, there he is, STG this time. He's going to get the first blood. Face so aggressive. I must have said, <laughs> attach uh -oh. challenges and silly. Now it's your turn to be in a one v four. United just taking turns. Who's the most clutch player? Well, silly goes one step further than Clay did. That's a kill. And actually, still alive. Really, the only thing he has going for him here is the fact he has bomb in hand. Tagged up. Zoom is watching across. Silly, nowhere to go. Twenty-five seconds. I want to see Face play this smart. You know, no need to. For a moment there, I thought they were about to body stack and potentially silly had a... a I thought they were going to do like the conga through the middle of the map. Just like, <laughs> hey guys, let's move on in. <laughs> but no, Replay's, uh, he's smarter than that. He's, he's behind cover. <laughs> I like it, Replay's great job. Does finish the round and that, uh, at the end of the day, he's 2-0. It in, is. Uh, in the map. United look to get their first round win here as they head back on over to, I believe, the uh, attacking side. No, sorry, the defensive side. Phase on, on attack here. Priester with bomb and replays getting a little close to some streaks at 3-0. Attach is obviously at 2-0. And, and first blood comes for Zoomer. That's three for three now for Phase Clan. That's difficult there because it's not an easy There's shot for, uh, for Pristini either. Oh. <laughs> However, I'm just going to stop speaking. There's too much action going down. So he's just found a double. And now it's down to a 1v1. Not only would this be a massive 1v1 for replays to win and put his team 3-0, but he'll put his team even closer to getting streaks. He doesn't, I believe, have uh, Mountain, because I can hear him. Now, if your replays, the best case scenario here is you pick up Bum and Plant. Uh, yeah, then kill him. <laughs> yes, then kill him. That is the absolute best possible outcome here for him. Of course, be nice. Uh, we saw these two players in a 1v1 in game two. Of course, it did go in favor of Varsities, but he was on the attacking side, if you remember. Now, tables have turned. 
And it's kind of strange, because I'm pretty sure United know the bomb's down, but Arsties is pretty open to just letting this bomb go down, even though he's 3-0. He knows the score. He knows, of course, what you need for those streets. Oh, look at this. I'm in and out, buddy. He grabs that bomb, scoots across the, the map. The thing is, as soon as Arsties checks, the bomb's no longer there. All he has to do is quickly check B. Uh, you should fly across the map over towards A. He's not check B, though. Now, 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 it it, <laughs> now it's what What do you do here? We talked about the perfect position. Replays, the best thing for him now is spot him. Just try and, just try and find where he is. Peek, and then keep your eye on the clock. Peek, keep your eye on that clock. He's peeking around. He's not found him yet, of course. I'll see still around that middle map. On the information replays, he's getting here. He's more than likely on the other side because... He's not coming down. Arsty's just got pretty good timing here. Throughout the regular stage, you'd bet your house that Arsty's had clutched these 1v1s. Replays, checks bomb. Now he's a little worried. Arsty's. Oh, he gets bad timing. He's pre firing. He falls. Has arsty has got the time to get the bomb? No, he doesn't. So it doesn't even matter. Replays plays the clock so well. However, it must be said, no streaks now possible for replays. That kill does stop that, but they ultimately <laughs> lose the round. I'd love to know what Re was going through replays, man. He was like, he's on. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, maybe he just shot. Just, just shoot something, right? Just free fire somewhere. Doesn't get the kill. We talked about the perfect round. It's not perfect, but it's enough. 3-0. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure he'll take that, right? Whether he found the kill. I mean, no streaks either no. side. Exactly. Exactly. So, best case That's scenario there for United, but you've got to win a round. And it has to be this attacking round. Clay, 0-3. Oh Prestini, 0-3. Oh All the first bloods going to phase until now. Clay and Prestini, both on their donuts, both find a breadstick. Can they manage to convert that to a round win, though? That the all-important question. Replays falls as Clay steps things up here in round four. I love that positioning from Clay. The smoke combined with the positioning was really good. Uh, and a much-needed round. You don't go down 4-0 in a map five. And uh, you don't go out like this, as you they can't, say. You can't, you can't let that happen. You, right? don't. <laughs> you need to get a round on the board, and so they do. Obviously, a lot of United fans, both here and at home, will be wanting to see them climb. This, for me, is the round. This is that, that round where you, you make a game of it and you're 3-2, or you put yourself in just an awful position, and you're like, oh, what have we done? Yeah. Four so let's one. make it interesting, guys. You know, <laughs> come on. Let's, uh, I, I don't think I've cast an S&D which hasn't been passed like around 10 or around 9 at least. But oh, 1 minute and 20 on the clock. Zuma with another first blood. That's 3 out of 4 for him. 3 out of 5. Now we're into this round. Problem he has though is Clay knows he's there. Clay shoots replays. He should know that there's another player mid-map. He has the support and that was set up perfectly. Clay basically baits himself out with the first shot and RCD picks up a double. Now it's a 1v2. Priesta versus Silly and Clay. Priesta now reveals his location, doesn't find the pick. They have him essentially trapped in the A site, but. I was going to say, one thing that I love about some plays is people say you shouldn't necessarily plant in a 1v2 is when... What a shot okay. that is! That is disgusting. What was can that? We, can we see this if that's possible? Can we see this if we can jump back into it? There's no way Clay landed any shots onto that. That's just silly snapping. Head. Headshots, yeah. I was going to say, sometimes I love it when a plays in a 1v2, they plant and just push out a lane. You push out that lane, you get the kill. Then you've just turned the game on its head and you've got the advantage. But ah, uh, Silly just says no. <laughs> Three to the head. We'll, uh, yeah, that'll that do it. <laughs> to bed. But now, now that is that round we talked about. You know, now it's pretty interesting. Three to two. And importantly, Silly and Clay both stayed alive, which puts Silly close to streaks. He's going to take the bomb, as you would expect to see in these kind of situations. Smoke grenades come out. Replays is going to be watching the A site. But honestly, if you're Silly, you just really want to get the bomb down and potentially try and play to those streaks. Play as well, he's gonna be working towards something on a three streak, the trades come through. Prestini obviously gets the first blood, ultimately attached there to trade. 3v3, bomb goes down, 40 seconds for FaZe to retake A site. United and uh, in particular, silly looking towards the streaks. Clayster finds Zuma in a bit of a distance. Silly's making the play, Silly's making the play, Silly's making the play! The kills for him, the plant for him, and more importantly for E United, the streaks for him. Now, yeah, E United, three back to back. Face started off strong. We were all talking whether replays would get the streak. Silly's done one better. He's actually capitalized on this, and now we, we know Docs, we know how important the streaks can be. This forces FaZe's hand to now put on that mountain, change your play style. Lutra, this is going home, Ben. 
And bear in mind, it was phase 3-0 up. United done so well to bring themselves back into this one. They tie things up. Silly, one assist away from Mortars. How he'd love all three of those streaks, I'm sure. Would be him, of course, the, the step up. He's had a fantastic series, Phil. You were praising him a little bit earlier on, but for this one, it's the defensive round. And give up B now. The nades have come through. Pressini must know now there's going to be some pressure over towards the B site. This could be where Silly uses the streaks. He will. He'll invest into the glide bomb. What does he spot? A priest is scrambling. And also a zoomer. Is priest around the corner enough? The hit marker comes through. He's one shot, but that now allows Clay to get a little bit of map control. Pressini's going to challenge because he knows the second player's there. But zoomer guns him. Clay for the trade. Clay working on streaks as well. Bear that in mind. This is huge for United. Silly got the kill. Silly got the fifth. So that's another streak for Silly in the back pocket. And now at a 3v2 attach and replays. Ah, uh, Attach is in a complete wrong position. The bomb's down at B, 35 seconds. I, I mean, are they just kind of biding their time trying to get someone on the exit right now? A 10 kill streak combined for Silly and Clay. Crazy as they are literally the second set of twins. Arsities cannot lose this fight. Well, that's just a heads up play. I, I've just got to say heads problem. all Clay. Go on, make it a seven. Why not? The, pr the problem is, it, it set up a little bit of a pinch there. Luckily, Clay forces the fight. He recognizes what's going to happen. And Clay's so close to Streaks. He's going to win the gunfight anyway. So, E United, they are set in a wonderful position now. Streaks galore. Four rounds in a row. Clay feeling confident. Silly feeling confident. This is, this is E United's to throw away. The, the streaks that they have right now. We're, we'll tally them up. Paradox in the back, of course. Shout out to the Observing. We'll just cycle through those. We'll uh, calculate exactly what's left. We've got fighter pilots. We've got glide bombs. I believe we've got mortars as well. But we'll have a quick run through, see exactly what we have on the card. So there's the first two. Okay, glide bomb fighter, way. fighter mortar. <laughs> I mean, you can't. Totally. At four three, I, I you know I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna throw out some 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 cast or curse. Just let it play the, out. The only thing that I think Faze could do right now, stick on mountain and run it. Like, you know, like, for example, number two, Zuma. Zuma's in and around. Now, that means one play's completely taken off. So, Zuma can get into a great position, much of, like, the way Joe did for Red Reserve. Ah, that fighter pilot was a bit... The, the only thing FaZe had, they knew they had streaks, so it's like, okay, let's just all put on Mountain. And you know what? Zuma's going to capitalize. Sometimes when you get your streaks, you play for them. It comes back to bite you, but Prestini finds one. Silly's already hit the double digits in a 2v2. Priestess shuts him down and the glide bomb's coming Clay's in. Streaking. Clay's streaking. Look at Clay try to play his life. Where here's he the, is? Here's, here's the problem, though. That works if you plant at B. Instead, you plant it at A. Uh, and FaZe make the heads up. This no, what, what are no. you? Oh, what are you He's coming in from the side. No. Oh, no. Oh, oh right. Okay. no. Okay, okay, okay. Ben, 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 oh, Ben. No. ben, ben, ben. Ben, calm down. It's Ben. What was that? A fighter pilot? A fighter, a fighter pilot. pilot. You had your mortars used. I, I. What do they have left? I think they got. No, do they, they have anything left? I think they've got mortars. No. Nothing. They have nothing. Clay has to. <laughs> <laughs> That's shocking. I'm sorry. I don't care. Zuma's got five first bloods. Credit to the Italian stallion, but silly says no this time. We've got a game on our hands, I'll tell you that. And now a 3v3 is 4-4 four, four, and it's tied 2-2. Two to two. Oh, you oh, love it, Ben. You love it. It's like what? what? Oh, it's like watching error in terms of streaks in the beginning. But Priesta with a double arsenies now. 1v3, we said. We said this was E United's to throw away. And by ben. gosh, they may have just done it. Bomb goes down. Now arsenies. If there was ever a time for you to clutch a 1v3, let me tell you. I feel sick. I feel sick for United. FaZe Clan will win this round. And Clay dies, so no mortars there. I don't think he got an assist. How? How is this? How? That round potentially could be the worst round that was the worst destroy that of World War II. Of Call of Duty. <laughs> Two fighter pilots, mortars, and a, a bomb, bomb down. <laughs> oh my God. And a bomb down. Uh, Nate, please, um, please tell, tell me, tell me a more shocking round of search and destroy. Oh, just give me a round eleven. Just give it to me. Well, We're heading into round ten. Now you got to regain if you're reunited. That's going to have a mental effect on you, right? You just lost a okay. almost a guaranteed round. Now Priestess goes to streaks as well. Stuns go out. E United a round away from bye bye as Prestini falls for first blood. Silly drops as well. It's two v four. Arsenies and Clay to keep E United alive. Is the top six curse real? Like, is I mean, it at this that. point? What are we witnessing? The bomb is down. 
And like you said, Ben, even if this does go to around 11 priest to one-off streaks, that's a kill. He's going to leave Clayster in a 1 before United's hopes. Their dreams lie on Clayster to keep them in it. FaZe Clan, they win the hard points. They put Clayster on the back foot. And right now, FaZe, they can they're, sit back, put their feet up, Ben. Yeah, they're not pushing. Why, why would you push, right? It's a 1v3. Force Clay to make the play from a 1v4 to a 1v2. He's now, got the here's bomb. the important... Exactly that, Phil. Exactly that. He has the bomb. 33 seconds left. Oh if he goodness. if he can bait out a phase rotation to the he, A site, this is doable. He, he, this no. is doable as long as the players rotate, and I don't think they're going to. Why would you? Replays, he gets good timing on water steps. 20 seconds left. Priest is going to be back here. He spots him. He's, oh! I think Priest has spotted him anyway. But if the... Ben at Chasha left. Replays, just oh. he's still alive. It doesn't matter. Clay's not going to win the gunfight. And with that, FaZe Clan knock out E United in game five, E United, another top six finish in the Call of Duty World War II season. I know E United are gonna watch that back, just- Don't, I wouldn't the, even bother. The, the streets are crazy.